Hello everyone! Good morning people! It's Saturday, it's our day off, I'm feeling good, it's like almost noon and I slept and I did my makeup and I did my hair so I'm happy and we have a lot of news for you guys but we're about to have breakfast. Let's go. So the other day one of my students asked me how long does it take you to make a video? The answer is um, it depends, it depends on what kind of video it is. If I just sit in front of the camera and I talk and it's like you know differences between Italians and Americans then it doesn't take me too long of course I first have to think about the video and then edit it but editing it's really fast and even subtitling when I'm the only person who's talking is a little bit easier so I'd say like I don't know one hour to shoot, maybe less. One hour to edit, one hour for the subtitles, few minutes for the thumbnail. But vlogs, vlogs are different because with vlogs, first of all, you shoot the whole day. And then you have a lot of clips, like it's a lot of footage. So you sit down and you have like 90 minutes to edit and you have to make it fit into like, I don't know, 15 minutes. And you also want to make it dynamic. So it takes way longer to edit the whole day vlog compared to just like when you sit down and you talk to the camera and the subtitles are more difficult so definitely longer i don't know why i'm telling you this but i feel like you might be curious hello baby boy what's up good morning oh my god we're so colorful today look oh my god mm. okay in the morning brian looks like i'm gonna sound so old but do you remember that cartoon it was called like my friend denver it was like a dinosaur i'll put a picture somewhere here <laughs> Brian looks like him and this morning I woke him up with the song Ti voglio bene Denver da da da, Italian version Why are you shaking your head? Okay, so now Brian and I need to make a video for our Italian channel. I need to prepare the video. So usually I prepare the content and Brian edits it. Oh, yesterday for the first time I went out like in a public place, we went to the mall, of course wearing a mask and everything. I've always stayed in my house except for once last week where I went to my mom's house, so I didn't really see a lot of people, just my mom's house. But yesterday it was the first time that I was in a place, it was indoors because it was the mall, with a lot of people. And it was not too, too scary to be honest, because I saw that everybody was wearing a mask everybody they were checking your body temperature all the time so i don't i don't know if that works but at least it's something and um they were giving hand sanitizers everywhere like you had to sanitize your hands like a million times per minute and there were people but not too many so we could keep good distance and uh, it was overall a positive experience even though the mask is not really comfortable it's necessary and i was so happy to see that everybody was wearing it so who knows maybe we'll go to the park later i think i want to do something today as well because tomorrow i start working again and lately i've been working so much again so i feel like let's grind now maybe this afternoon we'll go out what should we talk about today and maybe i borrow your charger there you go We're about to start people so we need this camera so I'll see you later alligator Okay, guys, so we did the Italian breeze and now it's time for the weekly update So I actually have some news I do probably you remember that we had to cancel our trip to america in april it was supposed to be in april and then we couldn't leave of course because of this emergency and now we decided that it's time for us to go at the end of june so we changed the flight and Brian and I are very different people, so I'm more anxious. I panic. I freak out. I'm like, oh my god, what if we catch the virus? And Brian is more relaxed. But it was crazy because at the beginning we couldn't find travel insurance that would cover coronavirus. So I was like, oh, you know, they always say that American healthcare is so expensive, so I really didn't want to travel without insurance. Luckily, thanks to Brian's grandfather and Brian's mom, we were able to find insurance yay i have my insurance brand has his insurance now the second big thing because so we're going to florida and right now in florida i think the situation is like 
under control it's like Italy and so we won't do anything crazy while we're there we mainly want to spend time with the family so we'll mainly be inside the house or maybe we'll go to places but not crowded places so we'll try and be careful but the thing that scares me now is the flight because you know it's a flight so I'm like <laughs> but luckily one of my best friends she's a an expert like it's her job safety and like we will have like proper training for the flight for free actually I'll leave her Instagram below because she's so good at her job so thank you so much for doing that that makes me feel so much better because if I have my hey Christiana that that oh my god the wind in this house is like it's haunted but it's not insurance check flight check we'll try to be extra careful she said it's possible to fly safely if you follow all the guidelines that she'll give us so i'm trying to work on my anxiety <laughs> but that's some crazy news right we're supposed to leave at the end of june i'm hungry so what are you gonna eat this sushi do you want one of these particularly i'll take this one guys oh my god we had sushi yesterday for the first time in two months okay here it is this is not a vlogging day but Brian and i decided to get sushi tonight for the first time sushi i need to vlog this because i think i can make you feel happy because you can see how happy i am we ordered a lot of stuff i'm ready to eat so we get to then you know i'm up for anything Thank you for watching. I don't know when I'm gonna use this shot, but I'm happy. I'm happy. Show them how cute you are. Show them how cute you are. So I ended up wait, right? So I ended up subtitling, but now we're going to the pharmacy as soon as Brian finishes his chess game because he needs it and I just published a video and Bianca wants to go out, but we'll take her out later. Pharmacy is the priority. I am about to lose my husband. You have the keys? Yeah. Good. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. So guys, This is the ready. 2020 fashion. At least my eye makeup is good today. Look. We went to the drugstore, we went to the pharmacy because he had bad spring allergy and then we decided to go to the grocery store. First time for you girl! We're done going home all sweaty. Guys, it was harder than I thought. First time at the grocery store with the mask. I don't know why, I feel like if I have a mask, I can't move, I can't see, I can't talk. I had all my hair in front of my face and I couldn't touch my face. And I feel like you guys have been going through this for a long time, but for me, we were sticking to the rule like only one person per family goes and it was always Brian. He's the strongest. So it's kind of new to me and I'm like, Mm -hmm. But we bought some good fruit and I can't wait to eat my fruit. I love watermelon. You want to know the strangest thing? Brian's dad, Jim, doesn't like watermelon. Like, really? Really, Jim? He must not be a human. He's a robot. Everybody loves watermelon. I don't love it. You don't? I mean, I like it, but I'm not like, I love it. I feel like most people love it. Do you love it? We had some fruit and we decided to go upstairs to relax and lay down a bit. Watch The Office. You know, take it easy. It's Saturday. Alright, it's almost 8 and we're about to go out with my dad and his girlfriend to have dinner first time at a restaurant I feel like this weekend has been like a crazy weekend for me so far so good because I saw that people were following rules we'll see tonight at the restaurant <laughs> it's been a good day thank you guys for watching see ya Scrabble. Scrabble.